today I'm going to show you how to create this Alice in Wonderland Drink Me Potion prop to get the drinker out of an impassable situation. Okay, so to make our Drink Me bottle, we will need one glass bottle, some styling gel, and I like to get mine at the dollar store. The cheaper, the better, usually. Um, you just want something that's nice and thick and inexpensive. One large plastic cup, one small plastic cup, and a spoon for mixing, a disposable piping bag, some E6000 glue, scissors, blue and green food coloring, some rope or twine, and a tag printed on colored paper. I chose a pink iridescent paper, and then it's printed with a deep red ink, similar to the kind from the animated Alice in Wonderland, and then I've punched two holes in it. The link for this is in the description down below. I have also put a link for a version that you can print in color ink on sticker paper and then fold in half to get a similar effect. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our small plastic cup and we are going to add a little bit of styling gel to it and our blue and green food coloring to come up with a teal color. Once we get our blue and green food coloring in with the gel, we just want to take our spoon and mix it up good. We're looking for a teal color, so if you need to add more blue or more green to get the desired color, then do so. And this definitely needs more blue. Okay, so now that I have mixed a dark teal color, I'm now going to use my other cup to fill it up with a larger amount of the clear gel, and then we're going to add small amounts of this to get our perfect light teal color. just a hint more of the darker teal to make this a little bit stronger. Okay, so once we get our gel to the color that we would like, then we can add it to a piping bag and we're going to get it in our bottle. Okay, so now I'm gonna take an empty cup and our disposable piping bag, and we are just going to put the piping bag in the cup, and then we are going to put the edges over the edge of the cup so that it helps us fill it. Like this. And once we get our piping bag over the cup, then we can take our gel and add it into the piping bag. So. I feel like I use piping bags in a lot of um, projects I do, especially with chocolates and things, so I have no idea why I didn't think about this sooner, but um, this uh, was a suggestion by Nancy Nichols, so thank you, and um, it's a great suggestion for these tight-necked bottled potions, so I'm just going to add the gel to the piping bag, or you could use a Ziploc baggie if you don't have um, any piping bags handy and just put your gel in there and it'll make it so that it's easier to fill those tight neck bottles. Okay, so once we've filled this up, we can take the piping bag off of the plastic cup. And then shake the gel to the bottom and we will be able to cut the end and put it right into our bottle to fill it up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take our bottle and we're just going to uncork it and then we're going to take our piping bag that I slit the end of it off and we are just going to put it into the bottle and we are going to fill it up and we don't have to worry about a funnel or getting into the neck of the bottle or anything like that. And 
and then we're just going to give the bottle a couple taps to get any extra air bubbles out. And once we tap all the air bubbles out, then we can seal it up. So because this is a prop and not a drinkable potion, you could for sure make this a drinkable bottle just by tying the tag around the neck and you could put um, some blue Kool-Aid in there or you could use some blue Caraco if you were trying to do an alcoholic beverage, anything like that. Um, but since this is a prop, I want to make sure that since it has a tag that says drink me on it, that it is sealed. So that's why we're going to use the E6000 glue. Um, I find that this is a really great glue to glue the corks onto your bottles if you decide to do that. Um, it does smell a little bit, so if, uh, if you're not in a well-ventilated area, you may want to move to a well-ventilated area. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our cork and the glue, and we are just going to put um, a little bit around the edge here so that when we put it into seal, um, it will adhere to the glass and it will seal it off. So once we get the glue around the edge of the cork, then we can seal the bottle. Okay, so once we have sealed our cork on, then we're going to take some of our stringer twine, and I decided to do a pink and white um, string just because I thought it would give a very nice Alice in Wonderland feel, and it uh, matches the tag very nicely, as you can see. So we're just going to take the string, and we are going to just do an overhand knot to seal it close to the bottle. And once we have tied it close to the bottle, then we are going to take the strings and we are going to feed them through the holes in our tag. And once we feed both sides through the holes, we're then just going to put the tag close to the bottle and we are going to tie a bow. Once we get the loops the way we want them, then we can cut the strings. And then I like to add just a little bit of glue to the end of the strings so that they don't fray. And once we get our ends trimmed, there you have it, our Alice in Wonderland Drink Me Potion, sure to make you shrink to fit into any impassable space. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making along the way. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.